Here's a very simple way to test the backlight on a laptop. The customer brought in this laptop because they were getting a very faint image on the screen. So here's the laptop on right now. As you can see, there's no image on the screen. Now we diagnosed this as an inverter board. Here's the old inverter board. Here's the new one. Very identical matches. The problem is the inverter board that we got is defective. And the way that we managed to test this and ensure that it was not the backlight was very simple. What we did is we took a case mod assembly, which consists of an inverter, a neon tube, a switch, and the lead that goes to power. This normally goes to the 12 volt power that comes off of your internal power supply on a desktop computer. What we did is we wired it to a 12 volt AC to DC adapter. So now, when we turn on the switch, the neon comes on. So now, really simply, I don't know if you can see this, but the Windows logo is on the screen right now, very faint. So all we have to do now is we're going to power off this machine. Make sure that you're properly grounded. We're going to pull the leads that power the neon tube inside of the machine. So here it is. We're going to unplug our neon from there. What I've done is I've taken another set of leads that plugs into the case mod inverter and I've wired a connector that fits the connectors that power the fluorescent tubes inside of the laptop. So now we're going to take this and we're going to plug it in. Let's plug in. We're going to take the power lead. And we're going to plug in the tube. So now we have a completed circuit. You don't have to turn on the machine, which generally happens with an LCD and when you power the backlight tube in it. Since the crystals aren't locked into their most opaque setting, what happens is you have some light bleed. So if we turn this on, you can see that the screen starts to glow. Off. On. So we know that the tube is working. Now we will plug it in just so you can see the difference. And we will turn on the machine. Now, when we turn on the tube, you can now see that you get an image on it. There's a nice Windows logo. And when we turn off the tube, it goes away. On. So from this we can determine either one or two things are remaining. Either both sets of inverters are bad, or the actual wiring harness that, that runs into the screen and powers the inverter and drives the screen is bad. We're not getting any intermittent connections on any of the data lines and the cable looks like it's fully intact. So I presume that's not the issue and we got a defective inverter board. That does happen. We have had that happen before. This makes it a very easy, simple, and cheap method to test any machine that you get into your shop that you've got no image on or faint image that you suspect is either a backlight or an inverter board. All you need to do is buy a simple case mod kit. You can buy any cheap case mod kit. Get yourself a DC adapter that puts out 12 volts. Wire that to the case mod kit. Install a switch. 
grab any old inverter board that's, that you don't need. Take the end off the inverter board and all the extra circuitry. Take the plug connector, wire that to the leads that come out of your inverter for your case mod, and you've got yourself a backlight tester. It's really that simple. The other option, of course, is to buy a very expensive oscilloscope or a very expensive multimeter that's going to cost you 20, 30, 40 times the cost of this. You can get a simple case mod kit for roughly about $10, and they see adapted for 3 to $5 if you don't have one lying around. And there it is. Cheap, inexpensive way of testing the backlight.